the bottom is coming with another video review. And I know, I know, I know. Off the bottom is you're doing another dinosaur review. We should be doing so many more other Transformer videos. Well, guess what? I love dinosaurs. And I love what Mattel has been doing. And I know not a lot of people watch these videos for me, but I don't really care. I like doing what I like. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Dino Rivals Savage Strike Dimetrodon. Now, this was another animal that I really loved as a kid. I think it was mostly because as a kid, it reminded me of something that we would see walking around today. Yes, the Dimetrodon was fairly large, and size wise, there's probably not a lot of the lizards that walk around as big as this guy, but it just didn't seem. <laughs> I don't want to say the word imaginative because when you when you look at a dinosaur like a T-Rex, it's it's amazing to imagine that something that large walked the face of the earth. It fueled my imagination as a kid, whereas this guy just seemed a little bit more grounded in reality. And I didn't have to really rely on my imagination to visualize this guy. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, but as with all these new Dino Rival figures, you do get this open package, which allows you to uh, play with it, touch with it. You can see you got touch with it. What? I don't even fucking know what that means. Uh, <laughs> you got Owen, you got a Triceratops, you got a T-Rex. You come around to the back of the package. You got an open section here that showcases the uh, collector card, gives you some uh, tech specs and some facts. And then as with all these new Jurassic World figures from Mattel, you can use it in conjunction with the Jurassic World Facts app. You just scan the bottom of the foot. I'll give that to you so that you can add it to your collection and you get even more facts. And then you see the Demetrodon right there with the biting action. But for the packaging on them, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. Alright guys, so here we have the Dimetrodon open up and out of his packaging. And like I said, he does come with a collector card. I, I really do wish they wouldn't tape it on here, because uh, you can see, now you gotta peel the tape off, and that makes me nervous about I mean, it doesn't really matter, but uh, I just feel like if people are gonna collect these, they don't wanna have tape stuck to them, so I wish they would just kinda put them in there. But they are fairly thin. I wish they were put on a little bit heavier card stock, but you got some tech specs. You can see that, surprisingly, he's actually pretty fast. I wouldn't have guessed uh, he would be a seven, but I guess you know, low to the ground and speedy, I suppose. But this guy, really does not disappoint he looks terrific one thing that i mean i always talk about like the paint detail and everything on this and i i really want to stress that the sculpt work on here is phenomenal i love how they got this it really does look like uh, i don't want to say reptilian but very thick coarse looking skin i mean the detail in there is phenomenal you can see you got some nice wrinkles up here in the neck area the face sculpt uh, or head sculpt I should say looks really good got nice paint there for the eyes the uh, mouth has a nice glossy pinkish paint on the inside for the tongue yellow for the teeth that's fairly standard uh, but overall the paint on this guy really is exceptional you can see the underbelly here has that uh, yellowish color going through there if you want to scan that let me put that there that's uh that's for you guys you can scan that and add that guy to your collection uh, i do love how they put the same uh the little jurassic world there it is the little jurassic world kind of logo there i love that they throw that back and then you look at the sale and that looks amazing as well it does have a very similar look to like the packaging where it's red and they got this orangish yellow throughout there kind of giving it a very nice fiery sort of look and then i love how on the top se section here you can see a little bit of slight color variation giving it a little bit of a fade which looks really good overall the sculpt on this is quite quite nice and i even like i mean i do wish that they painted his toes i could fix that but i love how the feet are like bent inward so as he walks uh, they kind of go in i mean that's very very cool how they did that oh very very nice looking you got some nice kind of line work back here very very impressive on him uh some size comparisons here he is you know i'm very excited about the fact that i have brought all of my old dinosaur toys here so here is uh friar tuck so he's one of those um I brought him because he's, I, I want to say like he's in like the uh, attack thing line so you, you can see roughly the same scale. Here is uh, the Sticky Moloch uh, so you can kind of see how big 
these guys get you can see it's a pretty good scale but when i was talking about bringing over my other figures i also brought over alan grant so you can see how big a human is here and then just for fun because this guy's got a sale and i don't get to bring this guy in much but here is <laughs> the spinosaurus um so um yeah <laughs> I, I'm thinking rah, rah, rah is not a match for rah, rah, rah. Hi, guys. So, yeah, you get an idea of just how big uh, he is. And, and, and the scale, I think, again, works really very, very nicely. Uh, now, as you can see, the uh, Savage Strike feature is the tail. I guess you could kind of say it whips a little bit because as you bring it, it kind of... Uh, sort of springs back but it, it's not really meant to do much but it's just activating the mouth which burka, 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 that's what you got uh, so that's his little action feature which I, I like i like that his mouth is open it looks good but that's the only articulation that you have in the head it doesn't rotate or anything i mean it's all sculpted in here so I, i'm perfectly okay with that i'm glad they didn't put a cut in there to rotate it or make his head spin or anything uh the back legs here they move in and out you can kind of see a little bit of positioning there and then they do rotate there's a little bit of a ratchet joint back there uh, but i feel like you're not going to get any major poses with this guy uh the elbow or the shoulders here they also do rotate they move in and out and that's uh, about it uh, the articulation is there but Again, you're not really going to be using it for too much. He, he's just basically going to stand there. And that's fine. Uh, I, I mean, he looks good in a display. I like the fact that they put that articulation in there. I mean, you can kind of position him around a, a little bit. I, guess. I mean, not really much, honestly. You're, you're not going to do a lot with this guy. Maybe get him doing that. I, I don't know. So, I mean, the, the argument is like, why do you need that articulation in there when... You can't really use it to pose them. That's a valid question. I don't know why I give a damn about it, <laughs> but I like that it's there. All in all, these are still the best dinosaur toys that I feel like we have ever gotten. And complaining about that shouldn't really be happening. I, I, I just think that they're 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 that good, and uh, just leave it at that. But um, this guy was a little bit tricky to find. Uh, this is the first time that I've seen him, and when I saw him, I instantly grabbed him. So maybe they're starting to roll him out a little bit more in terms of mass retail. I found mine at Walmart. So if you are looking for the Dimetrodon, he is out there. So good luck and happy hunting. Or you can keep your eyes on places such as Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to BBTS and you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Jurassic World figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, cool. If not, oh well. Either way, thank you all for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, I wanna send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support, now more than ever, help to make many of my reviews possible. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.